Hey what's up everybody my name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the that much difficulty. As I said before we are gonna do a lot more quests before we head into the battle for Kaer Morhen. Partly because I'm afraid some of those quests might, might fail and I won't be able to do them anymore. And uh, also because you get a lot of experience from doing the Isle of Mists and the battle for Kaer Morhen. So uh, I don't want to be too overleveled for these uh, secondary quests. So today we're going to do a Witcher contract, the Oxenford Drunk, because we're still at Oxenford if you hadn't noticed yet. And we're here at the boat of Radovid and this particular contract was posted by uh, Nicholas Friedman over here, a Redanian officer. Hmm. So let's see what all of this is about. Here to talk about the contract. Contract? Ah, yes. Put my mark to something of the sort. Seems a creatures attacking lonely passers-by, abandoning their corpses in gutters around Oxenford. Isn't that something you should look into? Perhaps, but we've a plow in war to win. I've got the time to clean gutters. Okay, what's the reward? Let's talk about the reward. Acquit yourself well and you'll not be disappointed. Redanian Arm is no band of scruffs. We can afford to hire a Witcher. Sounds good. What's the coin? 273 to start with, but I do like a hefty fee. So let's start at 320. Nice round number. Very well. That I can pay with a There we go. Fine, I'll do it. I'll take the job. Need to hear some details. You'll learn everything I know. Okay, any witnesses? Any witnesses to these attacks? Anyone see the beast? Some woman survived an attack. They say she's not been sober since. I'll try the tavern in Oxenfurt if you're willing to try talking to her. Okay, she... Did she drink because she tried to forget the trauma or was there another reason? Because this uh, quest is still called the Oxenfurt Trunk. Victims, tell me about them. Like How do they the look? Bodies. A corpse is a corpse. I see the wounds. Might be able to tell what kind of monster killed them. Ask our sawbones. He'll know if the corpses have been burned or not. You'll most likely find him in the hut on the riverbank. Our impromptu morgue. Won't give me any trouble with the reward, will you? Nah, I want this out of my hair. Okay, sounds great. So let's talk to the witness first. The woman who appears to be drunk all the time because of what she's been through. And she's now resides in the Oxenford bar. I do hope she hasn't gone to bat already. But otherwise we're gonna wake her anyway, so. This is also the bar where I met with uh, Lambert, I think, but hey. Hello, woman. Oh, woman without a name. Around for a victim of the beast. Let's talk about this attack, lady. Tell me about the monster. How you were attacked. I'd need another bottle to get through it. Okay, but I'm gonna convince you to lay off the booze. I think you'll tell me everything. Forty experience you points, there we go. Or no bottle. Yes, I will. I think they forgot the uh, particle effect that. there. Might have had a drink or five. I'm sure I wasn't hallucinating. Something down an alley called me. In. It was dark. See what it was, but it wasn't no human. Of that, I'm certain. What makes you so sure? I just know this thing grabbed the end of my skirt, but I broke free and ran. Okay, you didn't see much. Don't believe me either, do you? Fuck you! Fuck you all! It sounds like somebody tried to rape you and not murder you, but hey. Uh, examine the site where the monster was seen using your witcher senses. Well, that sounds like a great idea. Hmm. They so she left. Drained to the last drop, not an ounce of blood left. Skin and bones. Last. Streets aren't safe no more. Ah, you got nothing to fear. Haven't you heard? Huh. The beast only attacks rich blood. Interesting. Won't even glance at you. What's this drivel? What the? You know, a fish lives in the box, got different flesh than one that swims clear mountain streams. 
What in the hell? I hear a monster. Wait. There's something the behind us here. Pretty worn. Silver under the gilding. Too big for a woman's wrist. Attacker lost it most likely. Okay. If I activate my Witcher senses, I hear monsters. So there might be something to this theory, but let's talk uh, to the medic first and see if the bodies were actually drained as those two guys were gossiping about. So it was by the water, the officer said, so uh, let's take a look. Hello, sir. You the medic? I'd like to see the monster's victims. Oh. Yes. Love those plague masks, I've by not the had way. Them burned yet. Must get to that. That's actually great for us. You've done autopsies yet? Intend to? Why would I? Beggars and vagrants. Every last one stinking of cheap wine. Mind if I have a look? In point of fact, I'd prefer you didn't sniff around. Gonna make me come back with a written order? Good grief. Pushy, aren't we? Here, the key to the morgue. Look all you want. Okay. Look over the victim's bodies using your witcher senses. So, let's open the door. Holy shit. Is he making stew? Or well, what is that supposed to be? Um, okay, here are the bodies. He was drunk. Someone dragged him over the cobblestones. Fang marks on his neck. Vampire sucked his blood. Okay. Vampire bites in the strong stench of alcohol. Just like the other one. Sounds like a children. vampire. Wounds on the victim's bodies. Everything suggests a catacan. Except this vampire likes the blood of drunkards. That's the way to lure it out. Okay, talk to the innkeeper and get drunk in order to bait the catacan. Interesting, I'm gonna check out the bestiary entry they added as well. Gale, contrary to popular belief, monsters are not all alike. Like people, individual members of the same species can each have their own unique traits, preferences and weaknesses. A good example of this is the Katakan, which once fed on the inhabitants of Oxenford. Perhaps influenced by its close proximity to the hard-drinking student youth of the city, this vampire had developed a keen appetite for blood spiked with a hefty dose of hard alcohol, and also baubles and gaudy jewellery of all kinds. The vampire had clearly thrived on its high-octane diet, it had grown exceptionally strong and gained the ability to regenerate lost life quickly, cause heavy bleeding with its claws, and, if all that were not enough, melt into the air and appear again behind its opponent's back. Luckily, the Quen sign meant the Witcher was well equipped to defend against this surprise attack, and the Erden sign would let him catch the monster in a trap. So, Moon Dust, Devil's Puff Ball, Vampire Oil, Erden, and Igni. And Quen to defend, of course. So, let's talk to the innkeep and uh, let's get drunk! Yeah, sounds like a great idea to fight a vampire drunk. This is clocked, so I'm gonna have to take the other way in. Um, ah, over here is the entrance. This guy looks drunk as well. Hello, Inkeep. Oh, I remember you. What'll it be? Need a drink. Wanna get drunk off my ass, and it's gotta be on cheap wine. Trouble with the lass. Or did your enterprise go under? Neither. Just part of the job. I'll need you to pay in advance. Poor. And keep it coming. It's actually a really interesting strategy. There we go, drunk again. And I can't even save, apparently. Early in the morning, another maid from Vicovaro, loud with pleasure, drank with sorrow, till her lie in the morning. Yeah, because I have to... Catacan didn't hear it. I'll try another verse. 
Okay, Geralt, go ahead! Um, I can't run around. This guy looks as drunk as I am. Okay. Do it, Geralt. Start singing. Our third maid was not a pandy. He gave it up to any man standing. Her lie in the And young people these days. Okay. All right, all right. So that uh, soldier wasn't too happy with our lovely singing, so let's get to the back of the tavern where that woman was attacked as well. I wonder why we don't why we didn't immediately head over there. But hey. Let's uh, see what Gerald can I sing come up with. Blood. Come oh fight, bitch. Okay. I shall drink your blood. Come on, cut the shit. Okay, this is weird. Once again. Oh, gold. I apparently cannot use bombs. This guy looks awesome, by the way. Oh, gold. Okay. And he vanished. Where's that damned catacan? So he got in a few hits. Which is ridiculous after the uh, cutscene started. So hunt down the catacan using. Go. Good. I can hear it. Okay, that's good for you, Geralt. Uh, I'm gonna equip the vampire oil right now. Because I actually have the superior vampire oil already, which allows me to kill it pretty efficiently. So it's going over there. It's right there. Here somewhere. Where did it go now? Okay, it's going over there. It's invisible, it's but it's still making noise. Uh, hello, is anybody here? Oh, God. It's locked. Ooh, I can get in through the roof. Thank you for that. And drop. So it's poisoned and it's going now really quickly with the vampire oil. There it goes. Wow. The vampire oil really does its work on that thing. Look at that. Look at that thing. Okay, monster blood, bone, vampire saliva, fangs. A mutagen, a sword, the key to the lair, and a catacan trophy. Let's tear his head off. One, two, three, and chop. Squishy, squishy. Um, now the corpse over there for some reason, but okay. So now I had the key, which just allows me to. Exit. There's a lot more monster noises here, so uh, let's unlock it with that and let's head back to the Redanian officer to get our reward. Luckily, we're uh, actually right next to the boat for some reason. Yeah, thanks for spitting in my face. God. Nicholas Friedman. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> Killed the monster, huh? Killed the monster that was murdering folk. Turns out a catacan was prowling the city. You speak true, but what on earth's a catacan? A higher vampire. Particularly interesting case, this one. How the hell could a foul beast be interesting? This one liked alcohol. Had a hugely inflated ego, too. A bit like Geralt's. What matters is you snuffed it out. Due some praise for that, Witcher. Well, thank you. So long. So that's another contract done and 240 experience points in the bag. 
And of course the 320 crowns. Uh, I didn't have time for another contract, so uh, why the hell not? And uh, for the next contract, Muir Diablen, if I think uh, I think we should pronounce that like that. We need to head to care through all the bay, so I'm gonna see you in uh, Skellig in a minute. So, care troll the harbor, and there we have Bjorg who needs our help. Listen, Witcher, there's some weird diablin. You know, drowners, real problem. The kind your silver sword could most certainly solve. Okay, is the problem just drowners? Because, uh. Let me guess. Sounds simple. They're tearing your nets, devouring your fish, and attacking the occasional lone boatman or tavern patron who walks home along the shore. Were that the only harm? Terrors in the bay are meaner than on the continent. They hunt come dusk or dawn. They attack fishermen wielding just oars and warriors alike. Sea tosses them up after. Armor shredded, guts devoured. Strange. Any witnesses? Rurik, my apprentice. He was on a boat the Muir Diablin attacked. There's Tove too. Her man was killed. She lives nearby, up a bit. Sorry. None other comes to mind. Those who see the beasts, meet him, well, they generally don't come back to dry land alive. Okay, let's talk about the reward let's first. Let's talk about my pay first. A bit too modest for my taste. Let's haggle a bit, so 250 is the standard rate. So let's uh, bump that up through 285. That's immediately. The okay. It could be worth it. All right, I'll pay you what you want. They are very friendly today, so I'll take the job. I'll take the job. Dealt with drowners many times. It'll soon be over. Got my word on that. If it is drowners, because it does sound like something worse, so this is the apprentice. Rurik, right? Apprentice. Heard you were on a boat the drowners attacked. Aye, I was. With Ulf, my cousin, gathering our crab traps off the Kerrig cliffs. Ulf was pulling up a line. Having a hard time of it. You know, grand, I thought. Cage has got to be full. It'll be a good haul. Then something tugged back and down. Weren't a blink and Wolf was underwater. That's a horrible way to die. Once, twice, thrice. Then the water went red with blood. I smelled something horrid. Rotten, but worse. And the Moir Diablin flipped the boat. Don't even know how I made it ashore. Must have had Freyr watching over me. That, or the monsters had eaten their fill. Thanks for the story. So it still doesn't sound like drowners to me. It sounds like something bigger. Uh, let's talk to the woman. So the widow of the man that died. Skellige woman. Are you Tove? I was told Tove, drowners that was the name. Husband. Then you were told right. First the sea took my son, and now my man. I'm the only one left. Kevilla, our son, he went out fishing and didn't come back. My man would walk out to the Kierag Cliffs every day to watch for his boat. I told him he cannot bring him back to life, and that he could die himself. We'd heard about drowners, but he couldn't sit still. Donned his old coat and went. One night, he didn't come home. I fetched me brother, grabbed a torch and we went looking for him. The Muira Diablin. Sea fiends. They clawed him so bad, I only knew him by his coat. Small comfort, I know. But the drowner problem will soon end. I promise you that. Farewell. So large claw mark still doesn't sound like drowners to me. I mean, they do have claws, but... I don't see them shredding armor. So uh, let's take a look at the places where the drowners have been seen. So see you guys there in a second. I mean there is a there are drowners over no, here, but drowned dead. Is this is really okay. There we go. Might as well put some necrophage oil on. There we go. And let's take a look around.
Hornworth. A chest with a lot of stuff. But I need to check out the corpse first. That stench. Drowners for sure. Lair must be nearby. Okay. So let's follow the stench. Okay, where is it going? Okay, over here. Oh. Okay, never mind. There's a cave here. So I'm hoping I can soon surface because it's getting a really dark in here and b I'm losing breath okay there we go what's this so there are footsteps here that stench again slime and rotting flesh There's a dead drowner here. And more of that gas. Ooh, looks like a lot of drowners. More drowners. Let's blow them up first. Okay, that sounds great. Okay. So another monster lair, but definitely not a drowners. That's not a good sign. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm pushing it away. So as I thought, this doesn't look like drowners anymore. But what is here then? Except for the pitch black darkness. So there's a chest here. With a few materials, but... A weeper. The diagram for the Weeper. What's this about? Oh god, that looks like a big dead cow. Almost untouched. Hidden for later. Drowners just don't do that. Okay. And what is here? Bruises on his neck. Crushed larynx. Strangled. Sounds like a hag. Oh, God. What have I got myself Bits into? Of boats, torn sails, lines. Sailing decor, you could call it. That stench, the marks on the bodies. This must be a water hag's lair. Got a keen sense of smell. She won't come back while I'm here, unless. She coexists with drowners. Maybe I could make an extract from their glands, cover up my scent. Sounds like an idea. Ooh, I can act actually make the enhanced Ogord oil because I found the cave troll liver. Okay, there we go. Great, great, great. Okay, and then potions. Huh. Where is it? So I got the court lure from before. Make the tr troll decoction as well, but that's not why I'm here. Is it? So I got the bestiary entry for Abaya, the bay below care troll that had a pernicious reputation. At times, fishermen who chose to cast their nets in this in its waters would never come home again. Something would drag oarsmen off their longships and knock or knock the ships themselves over. The locals blamed this on sea devils, the Skelligers named for drowners. The truth, however, proved far worse. 
A water hag had made her lair in the caves beneath the cliffs of Kierog. An old and experienced water hag, with powerful claws able to demolish any attempt to block or parry, and the ability to ha blind opponents from a distance and strike with a lightning quick counter attack. Signs would be needed to best her, Erden to slow her, and Quen to protect from her blows. Needed most of all, however, would be a great deal of luck. Northern Wind and Necrophage Oil. Oh, never mind, I already have Drowner Pheromones. I actually made that once because I had the formula for it. Weird. So I just need to take it, I presume? Doesn't sound like something that's really nice to drink, but hey. Drowner Pheromones. So bottoms up, and then I'm going to add a bit more Necrophage Oil to my sword since it's a water hag. And everything else should be fine. That should do it. Now okay. For a place to hide and wait behind those boats. So let's hide over here. And she approaches. Okay, let's start off with a quen sign. Ooh, there's another. So the drown of pheromones actually help in this fight. Because the drown sometimes take my. take my side. Ooh. Okay. Oh, bolts. Damn it. No, you won't. It's over. We're Diablin. Completed. So let's take her head. Not a phase a mother would love. Not even a phase a mother would love. So let's take it off. There we go. There's another dead drowner over here as well, which I might loot. And that's that, I suppose. So I'm gonna head back to the shipbuilder and complete the quest over there. <laughs> so back in Kertrol the harbor. Let's have a chat with Bjorg. Job's done. And get Here's our due reward. Why would I want to see... What the devil is that? Water hag. An old clever one. She was the danger. Seen a lot of ugly critters in me life. Moorays, lampreys, blobfish. But never nothing like this. Your reward. Well earned, Witcher. Well earned. You, sir, are welcome. Thanks. Farewell. Thanks. So long. And a measly 12 points of experience because I said yes, probably, so it's a bit weird I got that little bit of experience extra. So, that's the contract on the Muir Diablin, the Sea Devils, complete. Uh, and with that done, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode look, episode, look at that. Don't forget to like it right here on the YouTube. And uh, if you haven't already, give it a talk to subscribe to my channel because I really appreciate any support you can give me. So thank you guys again enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next video stream. Goodbye!